van Eureka Twingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag, 8 november 2015. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Onze uitzendingen in het weekend zijn altijd in het Engels. Maar voordat we naar het Engels gaan, wil ik eerst even een nieuwe website melden die gisteren op de dag van de radioamateur werd gepresenteerd. Voor televisiekijkers is er uitzending gemist.nl, maar voor zendamateurs is er dus QSO gemist.nl. Neem er eens een kijkje, bijvoorbeeld als je de Daily Minutes gemist hebt. Verder stond er gisteren, na aanleiding van de dag van de radioamateur, nog een groot artikel over zendamateurs in de Telegraaf. Erg goed. We hebben vandaag ook weer Contestia, met dezelfde parameters als vrijdag, dus met 355 hertz. Wel is er iets aan de instellingen veranderd en ik ben erg benieuwd of het op deze manier ook werkt. Our weekend broadcasts are in the English language. We do have data in Contestia again, which is 125 bandwidth, two tones, synchronization 8, integration FEC 4, and it's including start and stop tones. Frequency is 355 Hz, 355 Hz. Today we have only one topic, which is an IT item. It is a short piece with software specialist and programmer Steve Gibson from his podcast on the subject of security versus privacy. The bad news is that the UK hasn't gotten there yet. No, of course not. Now, I'm not. I want to make it clear: this is proposed and needs to go through Parliament yet, but is being strongly pushed by David Cameron. So the uh, the the headline is: Internet firms to be banned from offering unbreakable encryption under new laws. Um, companies such as Apple, Google, and others will no longer to be will no longer be able to offer encryption so advanced that even they cannot decipher it when asked to under the this is called the Investiga- investigatory powers bill. It will also require internet companies to retain web browsing history. Of their customers, meaning ISPs, would be required to retain web browsing history for up to a year. The bill is expected to face a tough route through Parliament, but Mr. Cameron, and, and I'm quoting from the Telegraph.co.uk, but Mr. Cameron urged critics to back the measures. He told ITV's this morning, "Quote as Prime Minister." I would just say to people, please, not, let's not have a situation where we give terrorists, criminals, child abductors safe places to communicate. It's not a safe space for them to communicate on a fixed line telephone or a mobile phone. We shouldn't allow the internet to be a safe space for them to communicate and do bad things. And then Lord Carlisle, who's the, form, the former terrorism laws watchdog, said there had been a, a lot of, or a lot, a quote, lot of demonization of the police and security services over their intentions for such information. He was quoted saying, I think it is absurd to suggest the police and the security services have a kind of casual desire to intrude on the privacy of the innocent. They have enough difficulty finding the guilty. No one has produced any evidence of casual curiosity on part of the security services. What about malicious well, curiosity? <laughs> what about of course, <laughs> political curiosity? What about yes, it? yes, exactly. And actually, Edward Snowden did provide right. anecdotal evidence. Remember, he was talking about nude photos that passed people around and yeah. passed around the NSA that you know that they were sucking off the internet from their taps. So so I mean this is you know it's expected to have a, a tough road through Parliament, but I I mean I don't know what this means. If if they were to pass this, then Apple and Google have a big decision to make. And And then I don't know how ISPs can even honor web browsing history unless their certificates are forced into users' clients 
so that the unencrypted traffic goes through the ISP for logging. So, I mean, this has huge ramifications. I mean, maybe it just, you know, it's like a nightmare. Um, I, 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 you know, in terms of practical implementation. Apparently, you know, it's not. Uh, by the way, this debate is going on in the House of Lords, which makes it even more anachronistic <laughs> and funny. Apparently, it's not a done deal. Uh, Lord Strasburger <laughs> claimed the Prime Minister does not seem to get the need for strong encryption standards with no backdoor access. The Lord said, Cameron said three times he intends to ban any communication we cannot read. Will the Minister bring the Prime Minister up to speed with the realities of the digital world? And then uh, Lord Clement Jones asked if she could absolutely... Oh my God, it goes on. And then there's the Baroness... <laughs> Baroness Shields, there she is, lovely lady, I'm sure. Uh, she says, I can confirm there is no intention to do that. That is correct. So, I don't know. Uh, he did not, he, to, do, to do what? I mean, they're, they're, on one hand, what they're saying is... I know. I mean, th- this bill says that we need to be able to see everything on the internet. I know. There needs to be nothing that we can't see. And we're even going to make ISPs log their customers' browsing history for a year. She said, the Baroness said, she could absolutely confirm there's no intention in forthcoming legislation either to weaken encryption or provide back doors. She said, even though he said it three times, the Prime Minister does not advocate banning encryption. Oh, banning encryption. Oh, well, I'm glad he doesn't advocate ah, that. Okay, we can, you can still have it as long as we can, too. <laughs> he doesn't want to ban encryption. Uh, you know, I think that part of the problem is the lords and ladies do not seem to understand what the hell they're talking about. Well, and and to our to our government and bureaucracy's credit, uh, the you know, and frankly to the the crypto industry in the U.S., who independently wrote several you know mass signed explanations and white papers and explainers and pleas. You know, to to make it clear that it what what law enforcement wanted was not possible, not just inconvenient, not possible, and and so you know maybe I, I hope that there are similar levels of activism over in the UK, uh, and that 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 will happen because boy, I, I just don't know. I mean, you know. I don't know, like, from a practical standpoint, what does that mean? You can't use a VPN? Yeah. Because a a user using a VPN would send an encrypted tunnel past the ISP, making it impossible for the ISP to log what the user does. So, what does that mean? Wow. Anyway, interesting times we live in. Seems like it's the 18th century, actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Baroness and the Lord. <laughs> Let's take a break. All, All right. right. That's <laughs> my Breathe friend. deep. zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf verder zijn uitzendingen onder andere te beluisteren op youtube.com schuine streep PA0 ETE.